Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make very easy mixed berry jam with only three ingredients. Mixed berry, either you can use frozen or fresh. I'm going to use frozen one and sugar and lemon. Holiday is around the corner. This is the time around the time I love making this jam to share with my family and friends. Also, this homemade jam make a perfect holiday gift as well. So let me show you how that is done. Here are three ingredients we need for my mixed berry. Frozen berry, we're going to use all four, pine, four pounds today. This is frozen one. If you have fresh one, feel free to use that. Some sugar, this is one pound and four ounces. I like to keep the ratio between the, my berry and sugar to three to one. And then some lemon peel, I use the micro, micro grater to peel the lemon peel and then some juice from the three lemons. I'm gonna put all of my frozen berry into pot. And I'm gonna put all the sugar evenly. Mix it to coat it, coat the sugar into the old berry. Sprinkle the lemon peel. Pour the lemon juice and mix it one more time. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it in a room temperature at least two hours so it can actually thaw fully and also it can macerate. So mar maceration is a technique you use to put sprinkle of the sugar into fruit or any other type of vegetable. What's gonna happen is the sugar is gonna soften out the skin of the fruit and then also extract the residual moisture. I will check on it later on after two hours and we will get it cooking. The frozen mixed berry has been sitting in a room temperature for at least two hours. It is completely thaw and with sugar and lemon juice, it seems like it macerated really well. And then it forms some kind of syrupy looking liquid. Let me stir it and show you what it looks like. The next step on what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it in a stove top starting with the medium high. When it's like start boiling, I will reduce the heat to the medium and then stir it occasionally to prevent the burning in the bottom. And what I'm looking for is internal temperature of the mixture is uh, going between 210 degree Fahrenheit and then 220 degree Fahrenheit. Here are the tools and jar I'm going to use. I have four canning jar and then three regular jar. I already sterilized and prepared. And then four of them, I'm going to actually can it in a water bath method that I'm going to show. Three jar with just regular any other household item jar. And then I'm going to just close it tightly and then I'm going to keep it in a refrigerator. So in the big pot, there's hot boiling water. These are some canning tool I got. This is very in it's inexpensive one, but it's very useful. I'm going to show you how to use that. And then I also have two uh, temperature measuring tool, thermometer. This is a candy thermometer. I, do believe so this is for the any other thing meat i'm going to use this to making sure that my boiling hot mixed jam, uh, berry jam mixture is going to reach over 210 degree fahrenheit preferably 220 degree fahrenheit and that's in that way that i can ensure that that's going to actually gel it's been 30 minutes i'm checking temperature okay it is 220 i think it's set and I'm gonna can it. Jam has been cooled down 10 minutes. I fill up two of the jar all the way to maybe eight of the jar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up two more jar and then I'm gonna show you how you can it. So I'm gonna use the, this tool. This will pick up the lid and put it right in here. And then all you need to do is you screw the top. That's it. Make sure the lip of the your jar is very clean. Some are not very clean. That one, I'm gonna clean it and then do this and repeat the same process. I use this tool to put my jar in the hot water. Your jar must be submerged under the water at least one inch. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna let it boil, minimum of five minutes, up to ten minutes, and then after that, I'm gonna take it out and then let it cool down in a room temperature. 
And that's it. That's how you can your jam. The mixed berry uh, has rested in overnight and then it seems like it's well set. As you can see, it's not boiling down, so that's good. And then also, I can show you consistency like this. This is really good consistency. Not too watery, not too firm, because we are not going for jello. Let me taste. Just the right amount of sugar with a very deep berry flavor. That's how I like my berry jam. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe and give me a like. Until next time, happy cooking and baking!